Hello, love bugs. I'm Ravinia. You can call me Ravi. And if you know me well, you know I love indie games. I absolutely love the indie game industry. I think that it creates some of the best games that are out there in the gaming world. I think it challenges the big guys to take more risks and put out more unique stuff. And I think indie games are where the change in our industry gr grows from. And while hundreds of awesome indie games come out every single year, there are always those few special ones that truly push the envelope with truly unique ideas that never would have happened if it weren't for people like you and me who believe in the indie game genre and also a team with a heart big enough to make something so unique and so beautiful. And let me tell you, I really strongly feel that I am about to play one of those games today. Rekka has been on my radar for a while because of its unique art. It's an interesting gameplay. And honestly, who doesn't want to build a cute little cottage on the back of a chicken? <laughs> Coming from Ember Storm Games and being published by Fireshine, they encourage you to channel your inner witch, run out through the fields and do magic forage for ingredients that are going to help you uh, in growing as the apprentice to Baba Yaga. It has a rich, immersive storyline from what I have been told that is very interesting and fun. And can we just talk about this artwork? Walking away from some of the bubbly, cartoony kind of art of some of our cozy genre games, walking us into this moody, beautiful, a little dark universe. I think that this is going to be the perfect game for people who love a good decorating, a good cozy game, finding cool outfits and things but also want some rich, mature storyline. I'm so excited. Rekka is out in early access today, right now. So if you're seeing this video, you can go wishlist it or purchase it on Steam. It is $17.99 for a very limited time. It is full regular price is $19.99. But again, amazing price point for a game that looks so rich and beautiful. But we're gonna find out, right? So full disclosure, I did receive a key for this game, but I am in no way affiliated with either of the, the groups, the developer or the publisher that worked on this. Uh, while I do respect them and love their game and think that it's beautiful, I am going to give you an honest review of what I feel about the first hour of this gameplay. Now, I don't do this for every single indie game that I, uh, that I receive, obviously. And the reason that I'm doing it for Rekka is because y'all, I have the tinglys. Like I said, there are there are some games that come out every single year that give me that like chest like, oh, this is a this is a game of the year nom. This is this is a this is special. This is something different. And I am getting those tinglys from this game. So, I am going to sit here and do like an hour of gameplay giving y'all my true honest opinion. I am hoping to completely not cut it unless there's dog barking or something happening in my background so that y'all can see my true experience of the first hour of this game. So feel free to co-work and listen in. Feel free to hang out and watch the entire thing. But I I want to truly show you every, every beautiful moment, every bug, every suggestion, every feeling that I have uh, to show you how I feel about this game because I really do feel that it is special and I really want to give it the attention that I think it deserves. And we'll talk about how I feel uh, at the end of the video. So let's play Rekka. Alrighty, loves. Like I said, what I'm hoping to do is uh, kind of just play for about an hour, hit all those different points and give you a mostly uncut video, I'm hoping. So you can truly see like my reaction to everything uh, in the game. Anytime I start a new game like this, especially when it's an early access, I want to see the settings to start. It looks like we do have several different languages right off the bat which i always appreciate i don't see an option for subtitles or anything but maybe it's not necessary in this game if there isn't like fully voice acted characters so i guess we'll find out we do have audio options you can see here i already came in here and messed around with this i turned down my music volume just so that my voice would still <laughs> come through while i'm playing um there are some decent graphics controls through here which is nice too depending on if you have a, a pc that's maybe really powerful or maybe not as powerful uh and then i really do love seeing button mapping and early access it's it's a big little thing right like it's this can be be such a huge difference for some for accessibility for different people um being able Able to bind a lot of things directly just to a mouse can be really helpful for some people or the other way people who don't like to use a mouse as much and would rather have both their hands on the keyboard uh, so i am excited to see that this already is here and that there's one for general and for building so if you really want to make building easier for yourself i'm sure that we're going to find that people make some really incredible keyboard building binds that's pretty awesome all right but um uh let's let's just dive right in y'all let's get right in there all right. Oh, we have three, three saves. Okay, cool. 
There was a time when the land knew magic in its bones, when man knew of nature and not machines. The old ways were respected then, and witches revered. A better world? Perhaps. But time moves on, and if we do not move with it, the age of witchcraft will be lost to us forever. I feel the approach of one who may prove ready for such challenges, who can embrace our past and unlock our future, one who has known hardship and pain. She has traveled far, yet the path ahead of her will prove greater than she has ever known. Our downfall or our salvation? Only time will tell. Okay, so we are specifically playing a woman in this game, so we are not getting to choose gender or anything like that. We are just customizing a specific person in the game. Interesting. Okay, interesting. All right, so we have body, head, clothes, and accessories. Y'all, I can't even tell you how hard it's going to be for me to like push through this quick and make decisions because I will spend an hour on just customizing a character. But it's okay. I'm going to I'm just going to do it. It's fine. We're I'm going to make quick choices and we're going to move forward. I already like the pigtails. Like it's not even a big deal. All right, let's check skin tone. I do prefer a skin tone like color wheel where people can really add nuance to the shades. Just a little bit better for inclusivity. Let's see what they've given us. Okay, we do have. I think this is decent for early access. I would have, I mean, I'd always just want more, more. I just want more of, of us to feel represented um, uh, <laughs> through in any ways that we can, whether it's hairstyles, skin tone, voice acting, whatever it is. Um, I don't really see a difference between these two at all. And this looks kind of like ashen almost like cool toned i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with this one right here oh we get tattoos okay that's cool i definitely want this one but i don't see where it's getting placed on the body maybe i need to come back to tattoos and look at the face first so let's go up to the face looks like we have a oh, okay a few different face styles Okay, already. I like that one. I think in games like this, like we all love customization so much. The more you can give us, the more we're going to be excited, you know? So my first note to the team would just be coming out of early access, like spending more time on making us able to customize our characters even more so we feel even more connected to them. Um... I, I would encourage encourage that. I think I'm going to go with this last one. I think I like that one. I, I do like we get to choose like our freckle amount and, and, and freckle intensity. That's really cute. So we can have tons of freckles if we want. Really intense freckles if we want. I love that. I think I'll do... Um, I'm going to do... I, I've always wanted freckles. That's like a thing I've always wanted. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have lots of freckles. Maybe not quite so intense. I think that looks pretty good. Those are some cute freckles. All right, now for our eyes, I like that we have some options that are like unique, like silver eyes are pretty stinking cool. So bright sky, clear ice, cold fog, deep fur, dark forest, earthy moss. So we definitely are making like a witchy character, right? Like that's that's what this feels like. Like I'm making not a realistic nat natural human necessarily. Warm autumn, that's pretty. Rich earth, smoky quartz. Or starless night. Ooh, I think I really like the the really bright eyes. I kind of like the like the cold fog is pretty cool. I might like the bright sky even more, like this silver kind of gray. That's really cool. All right, and then we have some hair options. So we have some different styles of braids, a simple bun, bun with some fringe. I do appreciate them. I know long hairstyles are kind of hard to do sometimes, especially when you're first getting into a game, the animation for it and how it works with outfits is hard. So I appreciate that we have some like longish hair right, right off the bat. We have a shortcut. Nice. Nice. Okay, I like that they're that they are showing us some textured hair. It still is within kind of the style of the game. But I appreciate them including that. We have this braid is very, very pretty. Oh, there's the moon tattoo on my neck. I do like that a lot. I don't know how I feel about the shadows happening on the face. 
I might not go with this one just because of that. I don't know if it's just the lighting in this space that's making the shadows so intense. Or a nice tight braid. Nice. Oh, and this is really long hair. Oh, I might play with the really long hair just because... We, we so rarely get it, I feel, in video games. I mean, look at how long it is, and it looks so nice. Yeah, I mean, I think I have to go with this style. I'm going with this style. All right, and now we do get to pick our color. Okay. Now, see, we, it looks like we do have a bit of a color wheel for this. All right, warmth and brightness color. Warmth. Okay, so this is more turned to red. So they still kind of gave us, like, stuff within the style of the game, it looks. Like if I want to go as red as I can and then brightness, like this is like full brightness, full color, full warmth. It's still within like the style of the game. They're obviously not going to give me like my bright, bright red hair. Um, but I do like it. I might actually stick with the style of the game a little bit more. I might go maybe a little warmer. But I do like, oh, I can, oh, I can actually go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm a liar. Oh, so you can have like super glowy, bright. Okay. All right. I think I, I do want red. Let's go right there. We'll stick with the, well, maybe I'll lower the brightness just a little. So it looks a little more real for the game. Oh, but that is very bright red. Well, I take all that back. All right, nice. No, I think I like it. The brighter, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm giving. I'm gonna be a bright redhead. It's fine. <laughs> my witch, with my, my witchy silver eyes. All right, and then we do have eyebrow choice. Love that for us. I like a full brow, but I do. I do like a, a sharp brow. We'll do that. Again, I'm trying to not, like, just uh, do this customization forever. I think I'm going to keep the dark eyebrows, actually, and also just for um, the purpose of moving forward. So we have coats specifically that we can put on. Oh, that's cute. Or we can wear no coat. I think I'm going to dress my outfit first. Ooh, that's witchy and cute. And I, because I do think that the game actually has a lot of uh, outfits to uncover in the game. So I think I want to not go to be too worried about this right now. I'm a dress wearer. I love wearing dresses. So I think I'm going to go with this. I like the dark, dark, like kind of spooky vibes. <laughs> and then I'll go with the dark shoe because I think that'll probably is what will look the best. Now, do I want a, a, co a coat over it? I might. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that long, that final coat. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is like the fastest customization I've ever done in a video game. And it's still taking me forever. Um, all right, so we have the red hair. See, now the red hair, see how it's kind of like clipping into the into the back of my jacket? <laughs> oh, oh, the long hair issues of video games. Okay, you can also put your hair up. Okay, cute. And they have two different styles for it being in the scarf. I like that. That's cute. I don't think I'm going to wear a scarf, but I can wear a necklace. I'm down for that. Left hand. We can put on rings and things. Right hand additional rings. If I want to wear them, I'm going to wear them. Why not? I'm a, I'm a jewelry lover. All right. So then go back to body. It looks like we kind of choose which tattoos we want. Do we want snakes? This is more just like patterns, maybe with kind of like runes. Again, these kind of look like things that we've tattooed on ourselves. You can go with like a moth motif, which I'm guessing that you see these more when you are, um, when you are, oh, that's cool. Your hands are dark in that one. Uh, it's, it's literally what it shows there, like from doing magic and stuff. It's very Scarlet Witch. <laughs> I love it. I think I, I'm a celestial girl. I think I'm going to go with the celestial ones, however they end up looking. Obviously, we don't really get to see here. I see something on my hand. I saw the moon on my neck earlier. Um, so we'll see. But I think we're set to go. So we're going to leave. And here we go. Okay, and you can... Oh, nice. If you do accidentally back out, you can press E to customize your character again. Nice. Wazd to move. So it's like we're kind of in tutorial here. Use our mouse to look around. Shift while moving to sprint space to jump 
Okay. Just a little hop. So pretty typical movements. Okay. This just says customize character. So do I run out now? Oh. Oh, okay. Do you want to continue? If you want to keep customizing your appearance, stay and go back to the mirror instead. No, I'm good. So I'm going to continue. I like that. <gasps> How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. Y'all, look at how beautiful this is. This is the autumn of my dreams. I will say the mouse sensitivity is really high. You barely have to move. So if you are someone who gets motion sick, I don't think you can turn that down. But just be prepared that your mouse sensitivity, I mean, you barely need to touch your mouse. Okay, so we didn't have closed captioning because we don't need it, it looks like. Bogdan the Merchant. Oh my gosh, the little donkey. Gah! What well, the damn wheels fell off. I think it rolled down the path towards the bridge. Shoddy workmanship, I tell you. Could you find it for me, please? Sure. I can continue talking. Can I? Oh, no, that's just him. Okay. I thought I, I thought it was letting me talk to the donkey and I got really excited. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Let me let me actually check the settings really quick. Um. Oh, okay, camera sensitivity. All right, there is a sensitivity on here. Thank good. Oh, there's also auto walk. Oh, toggle sprinting. Auto walk on. Toggle aiming. Nice. All right, I'm going to turn the sensitivity like way down. Oh, that's so much better. Now I can like really enjoy it like it's pic picturesque and look around. Oh, there's the wheel. We're going to carry. Oh, we actually hold down E and then drop it. Oh, interesting. Ah, you found my wheel. Thank you. Wouldn't have gotten much further without that. Hey, you look familiar. No, don't say it'll, it'll come to me. <laughs> Whoa, what's in that? It's like a trapped spirit. Getting old. How dare you, Felix? I never forget a face, but occasionally I, I misplace them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, you're right. They do look like they've been through some trouble. I know you like trouble as much as the next Zlyden, but it's rude to pry. I'm sorry about my uh, business associate. He gets overexcited sometimes. I really must throw him down a well one of these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not in that bottle you won't. Look, I'm going to be staying around these parts for a while. If you need anything, you come see me. I'll give you a good price on my wares. Okay, okay. Our wares. All right. Oh, and then I can continue talking to him. So who are you? They call me Bogdan. It's not my real name. But it'll do for now. I'm a traveling merchant. No roots for me. Give Bogdan four wheels. Thanks to you. The open road in front and the stars above. Where are we? You're in the western part of the lands of ja Jawia. Yawia, maybe? If we go further down the road, you'll get to a small village called Kopnik. They don't get many visitors, so I'm sure they'll have work going if you're interested. It's barely a sneeze of houses and fields, but the river next is a real beauty. And uh, I need to know more about this creature in the body. Oh, so you can see him. Most folks can't. You have to be a bit, uh, shall we say, broad-minded to see the likes of Felix. And since you asked... He's a Zlyden. Basically, what happens when you give chaos legs and teeth? I'll tell you more about how we cross paths later. Right now, I need to get this wheel fixed. You mind yourself now. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, good. I am really excited about the lore and storyline of this game as much as I'm excited about just spending hours like building my cottage. Uh, I think that the whole building of the cottage part is probably going to be my favorite part of the game. But the storyline stuff and what they have created in the characters that they've made. That is truly what makes me the most excited. It does kind of seem like right now we're just kind of enjoying the beauty of the world. Oh, taking us to another character, Tamaz. Welcome to Kopnik, young traveler. You look like you've been on the road a little too long. If you want to earn some coins, you may find work here. We can always use a hand on our farms. Be mindful of the woods though. Not everyone around here is as nice as me. 
Some will pop you in a stew as soon as look at you. Oh, I'm just fooling. But there was an old woman out there that some may say is a bit on the uh, witchy side. I'm like, where? That's who I want to meet. Okay, so we're meeting villagers now. I can choose to talk to them or not. This is Andre. Tell me about the old woman in the woods. Give her a wide berth. She's a dangerous relic of our dark past. If that's the past, what's the future? Have you been living in a cave, young one? The highest lord, of course. That's who's most right. Thinking folk, um, thinking folk believe in. Hmm. We're on an outpost on the western border of Jawia. Not many visitors come here. Most are just passing through, transporting their wares to the west by boat. We're proud of our farmlands, though, and of course, our river. It connects our little village to the rest of jo Jawia. What's the river like? It runs slowly here, like thick pumpkin soup. Means you'll see a few swamps about. Usually they attract mosquitoes, but thank your stars we've you've not come during our summer. Otherwise, the air would be thicker than the soup with the little devils. <laughs> Ugh. I know all about that. I lived in Louisiana for a minute, and let me tell you. Soup. All right, we're going to continue along the path here. I'm thinking that that's probably where I'm supposed to be headed, kind of. But running into people along the way. I do feel like I have a lot of control over the game and who I talk to and who I don't at the moment. Oh, a traveler. Do you have a moment? Uh, what's bothering you? I just thought you might have seen my dear friend Jacob on your travels. He set out many months ago to explore the nearby lands. He's not returned and there's been no word from him since. I hope he's not forgotten us. Okay. And Ma told me she used to roam these lands, traveling in a house that could move about by itself. But then again, Ma's a bit of a drinker. <laughs> How can a move, a house move about by itself? Don't look at me. I ain't one of those educated types. Maybe it's got wheels like Bogdan's crappy old cart. It's got chicken legs. We already know the answer. Carved snakes in our roofs? There's a tale about a man who freed the village from a snake plague a long time ago. He dug a pit and used a flute to lure the snakes into it. Since then, the people have honored him with these carvings. Well, that's cool. Did it really happen? Well, I don't know if it's a completely true story, but still, we get a lot of snakes around here, so we didn't do that good of a job, if you ask me. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I like her. Yulia. Yep. Can I, can I walk into your house, or will you get pissed off? Nobody seems to be throwing anything at me. Looks like I kind of walk. I, I don't really... Oh, no, I guess this is just me walking compared to running. I hear a chicken. I want to meet the... Oh, my God! Look at the animals! <gasps> can I Can I have one? Oh, my God, I can carry it? Oh, I probably shouldn't, like, on day one, grab this, grab this goat. That's not the missing one. Keep looking. Oh! <gasps> But can I, can I just carry it around for good luck? I'm guessing you need me to find a goat. Oh dear. Oh, Natasha. Aw. What's wrong? Blue Bell Bodkin, one of my beloved babies, has gone missing. She must have squeezed through the fence. Can you see if you can spot her? The herd is worried sick and so am I. Where should I look for her? She must be somewhere in the nearby woods. I've tried searching for her myself, but she's a naughty little thing and loves to play, so I suspect she's hiding from me. Maybe one of my neighbors has seen her. Okay. Do you often lose your goats? They're a particularly mischievous breed, always running off or hiding and getting stuck in things. Scramps the lot of them. My neighbors don't even bother helping me look anymore. All right. I'm not going to ask more about the lady in the woods just yet. Is this... Oh, this is a new person. Have you seen a baby goat? I could swear I heard some goat noises near the pumpkin farm. You better hurry. There's an old well there, and the little thing like that could easily fall in. All right. I mean, I, 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 this is me. Um, where the heck is the pumpkin farm? I will drop everything in my storyline to help a baby animal. I don't care. Um, wait, these look like pumpkins. Oh, never mind. Is this pumpkin farm? They could be pumpkins. Oh, I hear her. I found her. I love that I can hop those fences. Thank you, developers. Come here. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's so cute. Can I keep it? Can I please keep it? Oh, hello. 
Would you come over here a moment? I mean, I have a goat, but sure. Hi. Oh my God, I could just carry the goat around and talk to everybody. If you don't think that I am not going to take every last second that I have and carry this goat around, you're crazy. Could you help me, please? What do you need? I never realized quite how heavy pumpkins are until it was I was the only one left to bring in the harvest. Could you spare the time to help me? Um, sure. If you could carry the remaining pumpkins into the bar, my, my arms would be so grateful. You can just put them right next to the others. You said you're the only one left? My husband died last year. He was very sick. We had so many plans, but now I'm running our farm alone. Even though it's not a big plot, it's tough work and I miss him every day. All right. Goodbye. I will be right back to help you with your pumpkins. Um, I have to return this goat. I'm sad about returning the goat. I would like to keep the goat. But that's okay. All right. Where's the lady with the goats? Oh, I love that I I love that I can jump over these fences. Hi. How are you? I found her. She's fine. Oh, there you are. Thank you so much. Where did you find her? Close to the old well. Thank the highest lord. She didn't fall in. And thanks to you as well. Here, take this with my appreciation. It's all I can afford. May you look upon it and smile. Ooh! <gasps> A goat painting? A goat painting for my cottage? I'm so. This is the best, the best side, best side quest ever. Okay. Um, can I just keep the goat? I'd love to just keep the goat, but it's okay. I am off. Here, let me talk to you really quick because you're walking by. Hello. Tell me about the woman in the woods. I've seen her muttering over bones and searching for herbs at night. Whatever she follows, it's not the highest lord. Lacey agrees. If you can hear my my mom's dog barking in the in the background, just look at you. Everything we have and all we have is because of the highest Lord's blessing. Okay, sounds a little culty to me. Sounds a little culty. Okay, all right. Well, all right. I'm gonna help her carry her pumpkins in. So let's. They said into the barn, which is over here. They really want me to do all of these pumpkins. Like every single, oh, maybe not every single one. Just, oh, just like the finished ones, maybe. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to, there we go. Pick up the pumpkin. I do kind of like the whole system that I'm like actually picking things up and carrying them. Oh, maybe it does mean all these pumpkins. You know what? It's all right. I am a good friend. This person's going to be very grateful for me picking up all these pumpkins, I think. I'm wondering how imperative doing all of this stuff in the early game is to the game. Or if this is all stuff that I could technically come back and do later and that I'm supposed to go like meet the witch. But it's not, it, it is definitely like me to get distracted by side quests instead of the main storyline. The first time I played Skyrim, I was so excited to be in the Thieves Guild that I legitimately was the leader of the Thieves Guild before I went to the first city and saw a dragon. Uh, you Skyrim fans, you will be like, wait, seriously? Yeah, seriously. I had like 300 hours in the game already or something stupid like that before I, I had even seen a dragon except for the one in the first opening scene in Skyrim. Was that all of them? I think that was all the pumpkins. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It looked so real too, like picking them up and carrying them in. Hey, how are you? I've, I've harvested all the pumpkins. Look at that. All the pumpkins are safe and sound. What a beautiful sight. I'm so grateful. This is for you. I hope you have some use for it. My name is Dunya, by the way. It's such a pleasure meeting a fellow pumpkin lover. Oh, and gave me a pumpkin. Aw. Oh, and a wreath. Okay. So doing quests is going to earn me things to decorate my house. And then four pumpkins. I wonder if, I wonder if like these are eating pumpkins and that other pumpkins like a decor pumpkin because it looked different. Ooh, table of the pumpkin lady. Oh, and more pumpkins. And they sent, gave me all kinds of pumpkins. All right. Tell me about the old woman in the woods. They say she's a witch. Maybe so. Maybe not. I know that old woman used to have a companion though. But I haven't seen them for years. 
Must have got tired of that smelly old bag of rags. Wow, I was starting to like you. Now I don't. Was her companion local? No, came from a village a little way from here. The kind of place where they believe all sorts of ridiculous notions. Sounds like somebody is a little bit brainwashed. It's okay. I'm going to learn magic and teach you the truth. It's fine. All right. This is blocked off, is it? This is the river. Okay. Oh, I can walk into it, though. Oh, that's interesting. I'm just wading through the river. No big deal. I don't know if this is where I'm guessing I'm supposed to go the other way. Okay, I can't go over it, though. All right. I just went for a swim. It's fine. Hi. Now listen here. You tread carefully, youngster. These woods are home to many dangers for the unwary and unprepared. Some of the old folk even say that an ancient bony witch with iron teeth lives in them. One that has been known to lure children into her hut to eat them. Wow. Wow. They say she wants to keep old practices alive and that she worships ancient gods. Ha! Nonsense, says I. Witches are relics of the old world. New beliefs have been spreading through this area for hundreds of years now. Sensible, right-thinking people believe in those. Our god prefers a different kind of compliance. Much more civilized. I see no witch, just an old lady who talks to birds and mutters over herbs. But still, I'd steer clear of her anyway. Ah, do as you will. I won't be stopping you. Okay, I have been told about a location. Find it with your compass at the top of the screen. So I can highlight it with my compass if I want. So that is uh, Baba Yaga's house, it looks like. That is where I want to go. But this is also telling me where other places are. I'm guessing this is just like the town in general. That's the pumpkin lady, specifically the goat lady, because I talked to her. Okay, that's cool. But now it's in red up on my screen to move that way. Ooh, okay. Oh, the house is like right there. That's convenient. Thanks, game makers. I did kind of think I was going to be running around for like a, like 20 minutes trying to get there. Ooh, look at the swamps. Like she really doesn't live far from the village. Like she's not like deep in the woods. Ooh, moody. Kind of dark. I like it. Oh. Oh, this is this is so pretty. This I got to say first impressions of like the art style and the style of this game. This game is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so uniquely done. I love the art. So much. Ooh, interact with what? Oh, I found a chest. Hey, go me. <laughs> that was an accident. Um, but it is just so beautiful. Ooh, fish hanging a uh, hanging fishing tramp. Okay. I like just the mood of it like this is like what I have been wanting I because I love like horror like my community calls me wholesome like my, my content wholesome that's either horror or wholesome so like wholesome horror like cozy game mechanics and all the things I love about a, a cozy game but with a splash of like horror storytelling and like more mature gameplay i this is like my dream my dream game like if i could play this with friends and we could visit each other's chicken houses that would make this probably my favorite game <laughs> foo foo what's this i smell someone dares approach my door a child hmm of course don't you know it's rude to be late child i've been waiting for you for quite some time Perhaps you too have been waiting for me. Either way, child, we meet at a crossroads where we go from here. Only time will tell. I would love to meet your chickens. May I pet them? Is this your familiar? It's a crow and I like it. Can I get a familiar? Can a chicken be my familiar? I saw you trying to escape. I'm helping out. <gasps> I really did. I, I kept the chicken from escaping. Go me. Hi, I'm holding your chicken. Well, look at you, weak and alone in the world. Like a newborn kitten, you stumble forth into my garden. Tell me, little kitten, what brings you here? No answer for me. That's fair. That's fair. We hardly know each other. And perhaps we always have another life, another lives. It's all the same to me. I love that she's like tall 
and kind of like strong and like almost menacing and not like a frail hunched over like walking with a cane like a frail old woman like we often see like witches like this is like you don't mess you don't mess with this woman you don't mess with this woman but enough of idle chatter there is work to be done there is always work to be done my shelves are empty and my belly grumbles like a like a kosh kosh i don't know what that word is i'm sorry hot water and herbs do not a meal make bring me some ingredients to make a tasty soup you'll find a recipe in the book on the bench looks like you need fattening up too kitten you may borrow my birds but no they are more precious to me than any creature that breathes upon this earth like i can borrow the birds for eggs and you my children of wing and claw see that this kitten knows her herbs from her weeds wait the chickens the chickens are gonna teach me and if she tries to run well you know what to do murder chickens they're murder chickens okay all right take a book tab to open my new journal oh in your journal go to quest to see what the old woman wants you to do next okay so we have ingredients goods map nice love me a map and quest main quest and side quest, which I already did a couple. Go me. And the missing friend I already talked to, but I haven't found them yet. So trial of the chicken. The way my heart is so happy that that is the name of this trial. I love chickens. I want chickens so bad. <laughs> I even have a stuffed chicken behind me. I don't think you can. You, you can't see it right now, but I love chickens. Collect 10 mushrooms for the old woman's soup. Collect six honeycombs for the old woman's soup. Okay, so I'm getting mushrooms. All right, the one wants you to collect some honey in your journal. Click the collect, click on collection and items and click on the honeycomb to learn more about it. All right, so collection, items. Oh, raspberries. You don't know what to craft with this yet, but mushrooms. All right, how do I go back? There we go. Items, honeycomb. Mainly found high up in trees. Consult your journal if you're lost. Now plus tab to close the journal. Okay. All right. Chickens, are you coming to help me? Oh, and one more thing. A challenge, perhaps. Certainly more challenging than finding some simple mushrooms. The Lutki have stolen my magical talisman. Again. Lutki are spirits, very excitable spirits, especially when you have a pocket full of berries. You'll find those wretched blocks of wood deeper in the forest. Find them. Retrieve what they stole. Once you have the talisman, you can use its power to come back here more swiftly. Ooh, fast travel. But if you return without it, my next soup will be a little meatier. I love all these threats. Now go stumble on, little kitten. Okay. You've been told about a location. All right, cool. So highlight on the compass so I can head that direction. Oh, the birds that are going to help me are the, the crows, not the chickens. Okay, look, I do love crows as well. Uh, big fan of crows. Was a little more excited to run around with a flock of chickens, but that's okay. All right, so collect nearby items so I can collect. Oh, the crows collect them for me? <gasps> Mushrooms. I was going to say, how am I going to get up a tree? I don't know how I'm going to get up a tree. Oh, I think I just got my mushrooms. Oh, and it tells me in the bottom left corner. Okay, that's cool. It tells me how many mushrooms I have. All right, there's the honeycomb. This is a very good tutorial, I think. All right, so aim, collect distant items. Okay, there we go. That's my aim. Just like, oh my gosh. You throw a bird. Y'all. Y'all. I love this so much. 
Can I get them to collect the mushrooms? <gasps> I can just stand back and snipe mushrooms too. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what's up there? <gasps> I received a green book. So this is like a chest that I found essentially. A green chair. Oh my God. But the chests are like bags hanging in the sky and oh my gosh. Y'all, when I tell you, I, this is so beautiful. I love these mechanics and they're so gorgeous. The leaves and the collecting. Oh man. Everything that I thought about this game so far is even better than I imagined, if I'm being totally honest with you. I am so... I'm having so much fun. Okay, I also... I'm going to go off the beaten path just a little bit. See if I can find any additional, like, chests or anything. I would love to, by the time I can start decorating my cottage, to have it. Oh, there's something over here. I know I'm still in tutorial and I shouldn't do this, but look, I told you I was going to give you an honest look at how <laughs> I play games when they first, uh, when I first checked them out and, and this, this is it. So, all right, let's go down here. What's this? It's like a ship or something. There is something up there. Okay. It looks like I can get up there. Yep. Ooh, I got a candle. More candles. All right, cool. I don't see really anything else down in here. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. All right, but cool. I like the idea of, like, finding different items and things to place in my house from just exploring but that I also get it not from exploring. Oh, there's berries. I'm going to grab berries too. Um, that I can get them from. These must be the berries. Yep. Um. I lost my train of thought. I'm so distracted by berries. This is really how I, I usually play games like this, though. Just exploring and figuring things out. My mom's dog has just decided. She's like, oh, you're recording a video today? No, I don't think so. I think that we should hang out and be friends. She's like, why did you close your door? Um, Suspicious. I don't like it. She's a, a herding breed. <laughs> so she is letting me know just how upset she is that she hears me talking behind a closed door. I don't know what I'm going to need these berries for, but I have a feeling I'm going to need them for something. But yeah, what I was saying, I like that I can earn things by doing quests, but I can also earn things just from wandering around because I love wandering around in games. Um, oh, more berries. Oh, no. I'm going to I'm going to try really hard. I swear to not make this entire video just me side questing around. All right. I have some berries. I'm going to be happy with my berries. I saw that bridge and I, I'm telling you that every be, part of my being wanted to go over that bridge. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go. We're going to go back. We're going to continue our tutorial. <laughs> I'm going to head back. I have crows as friends. This is the best day ever. Oh, I found them. Hello. Oh, I gave him a berry and he was my friend. Hanging herbs? Oh, see, it's a good thing I went and got the berries. I'm getting more presents for giving them berries. It looks like there's something in there. Hi. Is one knocked over? There's something in here. Is this the talisman? I need you to not just give me onion braids. Ooh, what do you have? 
Oh, I found it. Okay, so H to teleport back to the old woman at any time. Okay. They seem to still want more berries. These are cool little creatures. But it wants me to hit to hold the H, so it's okay. We're going to do it. I did what I was supposed to do. I collected my stuff. Oh my gosh, I want these vines on her house for my house so bad. Look at this like red and green ivy. I just oh. Oh, I love it so much. Hello, friend chickens. <laughs> Tell me, little kitten, do you have a name? Rekka. Oh. Hmm, I see. Yes, Rekka, of course it is. Do you know your name means river? Rivers are important, vital. The arteries of the world. They bring life. Perhaps you do, too. Well, did you get all the ingredients? Good, we'll need them for the ritual. Oh, did I say soup? My mistake. So easy to get the two mixed up in a mind that's lived as long as mine. Folks think that witchcraft is mainly about rituals. It's actually a lot more about soup. Never underestimate the power of a full belly. Now then, River Kitten, let's continue. I love that my name is evolving. I was just Kitten. Now I'm River Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> the ritual calls for a few more items. We already have the mushrooms and honey you collected. We will also need a sturdy length of pine. You don't have one on you, do you? No. So many folks really have no idea what's important in life. So many uses for a nice pine branch. In front of my hut, there's a small island. On it stands a giant crooked pine. Snap off a branch and return to me. Oh, and on your return, acquaint yourself with the chickens. Chickens are important. They are important. Many think chickens to be dumb birds. Not a bit of it. They're just playing dumb minds as sharp as their beaks. Get the pine branch selected chicken you like the look of and bring them both to me. Oh no, do I have to sacrifice the chicken? I don't want to sacrifice the chicken. I'll wait for you behind the hut and begin the preparations. Soon. Soon it will be time. Soon you will rise again. Okay. Let's go get this pine. I don't... I don't want to kill a chicken. Hi. Uh, I don't want to kill a chicken. Oh, here it is. Right here. Ooh, it's so pretty. Snap off a branch. All right. Go to the small island and snap off a branch. Done. I'm nervous. Now I have to go get a chicken. I don't want to hurt a chicken. Wait, that shows the talisman. Oh, duh. It's right here. Okay, wait. Interact? Oh! Hey! A small red metal box. Small fishing net. All right, chicken. You're the first one that I saw. She seems to really like you. So I'm hoping that, like, you just help with the ritual. And, and I like the slow walk through the houses. I think it looks, it looks better. So you can really appreciate it. Hi. Finally, you've graced us with your presence. I'm sorry. I had a hard time picking a chicken. I'm following you. Oh, you see the branch on my back. That's cool. Oh, whoops. Didn't I tell you? Bring a chicken. Go back and fetch one. We don't have all day. Oops. Sorry. Is it still right here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. It was like, why? She's like, why are you picking berries right now? We're supposed to be doing a ritual. That was a cool, that was cool. As she yelled at me for setting down the chicken. Okay, that's a big bone hut. There is a bit of, of, of walking to appreciate the artwork in the start of this. Ooh, what's that over there? There's something there. Oh, no. This is the place where we fell all those years ago. Those who would not listen and those who would not be heard. And we fell as we do. But my friend, my love, my child, did not get back up. I searched for answers far and wide. Eventually, I returned here, cast my mind wide, sent out a calling, and waited. 
waiting for the right kind of mind to answer. One that understood pain, understood loss. Now we must no longer delay. Take that chicken over to the old oven. <gasps> oh, don't be so concerned. It'll be fine. I'm sure it will make itself at home in that nest. Besides, it's about to ascend to heights that such birds rarely reach. I don't want to kill the chicken. Oh, there's a nest. Okay. The chicken has chickened. Do you have the branch I told you to find? Good. While I start the sigil, I need you to cleanse the space. Hold your branch to the candle's flame until it ignites, then sweep its powerful incense through the air. Oh. Okay. Light the pine branch. Whoa! That's it. Good. Follow me to the next one. Ooh, she got some pep in her step. I love that I just, like, met this woman and I'm, like, doing spells with her. Like, this is totally normal and fine. Like, she did threaten to have her crows murder me, but I'm just like, let's help her with this totally normal ritual. The final one. There's just these giant bones everywhere. I mean, no red flags at all. Like, no red flags at all. <laughs> you can follow clear instructions. That's promising. In my hut by the front door, there's a shrine to my ancestors. One of them saw fit to leave me an egg. We'll need it for the ritual. It's not like a chicken egg at all. A river kitten foolish talk. Although it will hatch something if all goes to plan. It has sat dormant for many years, but hopefully it can still provide us with what we need. Bring it to me. Oh, and pick up some grain from my garden on the way. We will need that later. All right. I am your Aaron witch. Apparently. Which, honestly, fine. Like, all right. Garden. Oh, it's not letting me have that way. Okay, we'll go this way. This is fine. Oh, okay, this is probably the the grain. I don't know how much we need, so I'm bringing it all. Hopefully, I don't make her mad because I picked it all. Up. Oh, ingredients. Oh, this is where I can do spells, I think. I thought that was the egg. That's an apple. Ooh, read. This page is filled with complex diagrams and incantations. It's hard to read. But one part of it can be deciphered, but only if the bearers are aligned. The final two offerings to Siva, grain for what currently is, and bread for what may become of it. If the soul is ready and the egg is placed, all I need is the blood and raw ancestral power to... <gasps> She's gonna try and murder me. Is the egg over here? Oh yeah, there it is. Egg. It also said something about bread. Like if I can I grab that now? No? Okay. Let's carry this egg back to wherever she is. Hello, ma'am. I have an egg. That's it. Good. Isn't it a thing of wonder? You just wait. Now put it in the oven. Okay. I don't understand why I'm doing all of this, but okay almost there it's time for us to make the offerings we will honor many gods in this ritual perhaps you will learn more of them in time if you prove yourself for now we must honor the goddess of fertility i have placed bowls on all four sides of the bones i'll start with this one you go to the bowl at the back river kitten and place some honeycomb within it okay oh i see place honeycomb very good now we shall both walk clockwise around the house to the next bowl. And then, when I tell you to, place some grain in the bowl. You have the grain, yes? Into the bowl with it. She said clockwise? Yes! It's working! Wait. It's working. The river kitten is capable. Hmm. Come to me. We are not finished. Quickly now. Okay. Dead. 
Take this. Be very careful with it. It's a charm blessed by the god of fire. A powerful, dangerous object in the wrong hands. Hush now. Stop looking at your hands. They are the right ones. At least for now. Using this charm, I need you to dissolve the bones surrounding this site. Each and every last one. You need to harness their essence. Go. I need to focus on the next step. Do not disappoint me. I cannot be disappointed again. And be respectful. The one you dissolve meant more to me than you will ever know. Oh, is it the... <gasps> I bet you this was the chicken house. And this was the chicken that... that... Oh, and that's what the bones are. The companion was the big chicken. Oh, that's so sad. That's why she loves the chickens so much, because they remind her of her big chicken that grew her house. Oh. See, this game isn't going to hold back. I'm going to be feeling all the emotions. I can, like, already tell. They're like, we didn't make this game for kids. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all of them come back to me. I'm trying, but, like, I'm in a storm. Give me back that charm. You are far too inexperienced to hold such power longer than necessary. I mean, you gave it to me, lady. I don't know what to tell you. How did it feel to wield the power of Svarog? Tingles, doesn't it? Like a neat, like a nettle sting on the inside of your skin. <laughs> don't grow too big for your boots. We're not done yet. Go back to my house and bring me embers from the oven. The ritual requires you carry them red hot in your bare hands. Don't look at me like that. Carrying embers should not prove a problem to one who has wielded Svarog's power. Now get to it quickly. All right. I wish there was like a, I will say, I wish there was a little bit of like an arrow to her house. I keep getting like, I keep looking at other spots and thinking that that's the way to go. And then I'm like, no, wait, sense of direction. It's over here. All right. I guess we're going to carry some hot embers in our bare hands. Oh, well, I can't miss the ritual site now. Holy crap. Oh, that's so cool. Hi. You're a brave one, River Kitten. I hope it lasts. Give the embers to me. There's one last thing I need from you. Come closer. I have a strong feeling she's going to slip my wrist or something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> she did take blood. I was right. Yeah, don't look it like that. It was only a small prick, just a drop of blood. You won't miss it. Blood is key. Blood is the bond. See how the embers absorb it. The living embers. They have burned bright for generations fire passed from home to home their aged dwarfs even mine the living embers give life to my love a long time ago and now new life they shall give today this last part i must do alone you did well little river kitten now i'm little river kitten let's not hope it's the last time but for now watch and learn Ooh, cutscene Chicken house? <laughs> Chicken house? Wow. Wow. Chicken legs! For I am the beginning and the end. I cannot be unmade. I cannot be undone. I persist. The world shall remember Baba Yaga. It shall remember and tremble before the mother of witches. Phew. Now that was exhausting. Quite took the wind out of me, it did. Now sit down. Oh, swamp rats, it's not responding can't fix my mind i can't control it river kitten tell it to sit down hut hut sit down <gasps> you did well little river kitten 
You did not disappoint. At least, not yet. There's potential in you. You have a quick mind. You can see beyond what others do. You are a natural witch, perhaps even born to it. Few can do what you did. Look around you. Look at what you've created. This will be our house, our home. But I will allow you to build it yourself. Furnish it, decorate it, make it how you imagine. Embrace the light or the darkness. <gasps> we get like different things and different choices based on all, oh, based on if we're like nice witches or mean witch. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting like Kotar flashbacks. The grand or the humble. Oh, we will live in it and travel the lands within its walls. I will take the largest room. Baba Yaga needs her space. And it is more than a fair price for what I can teach you if you're willing to learn. If you are, take this wood and begin a future. Baba Yaga gave me wood. Okay, I do have to say. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> with everything else in the game being so beautiful and almost like realistic leaning in its style then this wood looks like something out of a Futurama episode <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry look Debs there have been no bugs there have been no problems with the game yet so far it's absolutely stunning I've got to give you something right like I got to give you something 132 wood specifically Stand on top of the wooden platform and press B to open build mode. Okay. All right. R and Q to switch through categories and select house building parts. Okay. R, small furniture, items in storage, ceiling decor, wall decor, decoration, books, friends, illumination, house. Okay. E to build a small floor for your new home. On top of the platform. Okay. Like. Oh, I see. So that's showing me like. Where it's going to build. Based on how it's connected. Okay. Okay. Hover over any of your placed house parts. And press C to store it away. So any parts I don't want. But do I have to get out of the. I feel like it's trying to teach me to do that. Hover above any of your placed house parts and press C to store it away. All right, let's try placing one. I should have some stuff, right? I thought I had some things already, but I guess I don't. Items in storage. Who is this my my first my first thing I don't fully understand? Okay. And I can cook. Click on items in your inventory and add them to the cutting board. If you add the right combination of exactly three items, a new mat recipe might start crafting. Try it now by adding berries three times and happy experimenting. Two, three. Your bread needs fuel to work. Go to the back of your oven and add some wood. Okay, but I've learned a new recipe for raspberry jam. Yeah, I don't know what it's trying. Hold on. Interact. Wood. Oh, 63. Like, how much wood is in there? Maybe I put too much wood in there. <laughs> And then, oh, and there's a timer on it. Oh, that's cool. To then go and take the food out. And then I'll have raspberry jam. 
I need a place and press C to store it away. Maybe I can store away some of the size of the stuff to get that to go away. It says placed house parts, though. I feel like the only... Oh, it just gave it to me. Okay. Oh, okay. It put it... Oh, it puts it off to the side. That's cool. And now I have food. All right. Placed house parts and store it away. I really am stuck here. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not seeing anything highlight. Can I... All right, let's get back to... It had me in house so maybe this is there it is okay i feel kind of silly so i was i it, that, i think i was looking for house parts and i don't know why i was looking for like items it's like specifically walls and things okay so then you can use your wheel pad your um mouse or d-pad to place okay so hover over a floor piece to build a wall okay and then we place And then just select a roof piece, it says. Oh, okay. Hover above a wall to snap the roof to it. Then hold your left mouse button and drag to rotate. Okay. So. Hover above a wall to snap a roof to it. Hold and drag to rotate. Okay, interesting. Okay, like that. And then place. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then B to close build mode. Good. Go ahead and place my chair now. Time does not rest, but I need to. Okay. So then back into build mode. And then... Small furniture. And then hold and drag. Okay, to rotate the chair. Oh, I really like this build style. I think I'll put it over here. This is really cool. And then place it. Okay, and then hold and drag to slide the chair around precisely. Okay, they wanted me to do that for the tutorial reasons. And then E to build the chair. Wow, that is a really cool build mechanic. Wow, uh, that that is really cool. Already having like precise and so much choice as to where you're placing items when you're decorating. Wow. Now I will give you one last seat, an ancient one just for you. But no, this is no ordinary chair. It will allow you to speak to the hut directly, for you will be guiding us in our journey up the river. Think of it like the brain of this place. Position the chair and talk to it. Believe me, you will find yourself speaking with things much stranger than a chair in your travels, such as the life of a witch. Steer the hut through the forest to where the fog is at its deepest. Enter it to leave this part of the world. Know that when you do, you may never return here. So make sure you have tied up your affairs and explored as much of the land as you wish. I sense there are still some places left undiscovered. There are, because I still have a quest to do. But it's nice that I kind of have the option. All right, so we're going to... Oh, that was my berries, I think. Grab my small piece of furniture. Wait. Oh. I didn't mean to place it like that. Um, pick up. Oh, but pick up instead of just store. That's nice. All right. I'm going to just stick it over here for now. I haven't finished building my walls and things, and that's okay. 
just stick it here because it's the front. It's fine. And then B to get out of mode. Oh. All right. And this is how I control it. Oh, I have a whole bunch of new pieces of furniture and things. Because of what I found. All right. Well, I don't want to leave yet. I do want to go back to the village. I also need to find that one guy. There's definitely areas that have not been uh, finished looking at yet. Like, I don't know what this is, but there's a chest. Yes. Give me lanterns. Give me things to decorate with. I got my pumpkin stuff, but I want more stuff for sure. Here is more chests. Ooh, skull on pedestal. Dark red cupboard. Ooh. It's still like giving me all kinds of blueprints it looks like right now. I'm also going to grab things because why wouldn't I? We've got some more hanging herbs. Ooh, painting of a cabbage. My cabbages. <laughs> oh, I don't know what building that is. So I might go look at that quick. Uh, I saw some honey over here and I just lost where it was there. We're going to aim and we're going to send out a bird to grab us some more honeycomb. Since apparently we use it for fancy spells. It's like there's a lot of stuff down in the swamp. An ox harness. Ooh, double bit axe. Okay. I wonder if that is usable. There really is a lot to explore that you could really miss. I just got a fireplace. I wonder if the chests are all predetermined and that every item that you could find is the same always, or if the chests are hello, or if the chests are random. And just as you find things, as you find chests, it unlocks different things. I wonder how that works. It'd be kind of cool if it was a little bit of a mix of both. I do like the idea of them being a little, like, a little randomized. There we go. I really do feel like I have so much freedom out here to truly go wherever I want. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no. Um, that looks maybe a little dangerous. Need a tool to cast. Okay. What did I just do? I received a tarot card, the moon, a black candle, open book about gardening. Oh, I did. I did magic. Okay. Interesting. All right, I feel like I'm getting pretty far away. Oh, there, there's like a whole other new town. It looks like so I found a graveyard. Wow. This really is like, like the freedom I feel right now. Oh. There it goes. Okay. So interact first, then cleanse. Because you have to light your your branch first a skull who and a painting and a skull with plants who doesn't want a skull with plants oh there's a building back here too looks like there's stuff in there what's this oh another branch okay so interact first then Lens? 
Wow. Ooh, a wall. I'm getting all the things. Black candles. Like, yeah, hook a girl up. Just walking through this graveyard. Just am I am I a am I a grave digger? Like, or not no, raider. <laughs> a thief? Robber. That's the word I'm looking for. A grave robber. I think I'm a grave robber. Witch paper. And another a tarot card of the moon. Another skull with plants. Another skull. Give me them all. I want all of it. Thank you. All right. I do kind of want to look at my map really quick. I want to see what's happening based on where I'm running. So here is all the way back to where the chicken house is. This is the... Okay. So I can like highlight things to help find it. See, this I think is where the house is. Is that the talisman? But I haven't done that house yet so i'm gonna head that direction well i guess i'll do this first wherever that is it's right over here oh that's that's the graveyard i see i see i want to check out this building first and then i'm gonna head back towards the city can i just have this table can i just take it seems fair all right, we've got a staircase and ooh, oops. Another chest, a washboard. Ooh, a cleaver. I don't know. I might not want that around Baba Yaga. Oh, and there's a, oh, I see a thing. So the satchel before was something. Oh, but yeah, I knocked it right into the lake. Oh, can I not get it now? Oh, there it is. Book with lavender. Hey, gold. I got some money. Hay bale. Let's say I figured that money was going to come in as a factor at some point in the game. Like all were all worlds work on money in some way, shape or form, you know, gloomy ruin. Okay. So maybe this whole area that is on my map right now is for me to explore until I move on to the next section. Oh, I can light. How strange. This mirror has no reflection. <gasps> okay. Oops. Ooh, magic. It really is giving an actual reflection too. Mirror, is this light? I need more. Okay. Okay. I got you. How about now? I can see. It is beautiful. Will you take me with you so I can flee this void? I need to see all the grace this world has to offer. Oh, it's character customization. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh, that was such a cool way to give us that. How interesting. Oh, and I got a new dress. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well. Well. I'm only obsessed. It's fine. All right. I'm still going to run around. Oh, my God. There's animals. It's a deer. Does the deer give me anything? Nope. Hello, deer. Are you afraid? Here, di whoop, whoop. Oh, I can give them berries? Have a berry. <gasps> Look at the little baby. Have a berry. Would you like a berry? Oh, oh, excuse Oh, hello. That jumping glitch is really funny. 
Would you like a berry? I befriended the deer. The deer are now my friends. Okay, what's that mean though? I don't know what it means, but I like it. Oh my God, are they following me? Hi. What are you going to do for me in the woods? This thick fog looks kind of scary. Okay, this is the end of the world. All right. Are you just... It's literally just following me. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is the cutest thing. I wonder if it has like a real... Like stuff will happen because I befriended it. If there's like a chance that like it'll lead me to stuff or something, that would be really cool. All right, I'm just I'm just exploring, y'all. I I I I definitely want to move on to the next area, but I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss out on any uh chests or things. I feel like I haven't been looking up enough in the trees to make sure that I don't miss anything. Making sure I don't miss any landmarks. So I'm just kind of going in a circle around the outside of the map for now. I guess I can start hustling it up. It looks like the, the dark fog is where I really can't go. That's kind of like the end of the world. Okay, I'm back to the city now. So that works out. I know that there was still some people that I didn't talk to. Let's see if any of them have quests for me. Oh, something. Hmm. Do you anything? Did you notice anything weird? Weather's a bit odd today. We don't get those kinds of storms here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna guess I don't need a lot of talk. Oh, hello. Get off, you nasty creatures! Can I help you? What's the matter? See those birds? Shifty-looking things. Beady eyes, like berries. I can swear they're following me. Stalking me, in fact. I can't scare them off. It must belong to that old crone in the woods. She's pretty shifty, too. Help me get rid of them. I'll make it worth your wild. Why are they stalking you? I may have asked the hag to bless my fishing, and I may have accidentally forgotten to pay her. Don't let on to anyone that I went to her. They'd laugh at me for sure. But I always pass by her hut on the way to the best fishing spot, so I thought maybe she could help me out. I had the money to pay her honestly. I, I lost in a game of tickle my pumpkin. A game of what? A game of what, Radomir? Tickle my pumpkin. Choices. I'll see what I can do or better pay your debts in the future. Oh. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye. All right. So now, hush, hush. Leave the weak soul alone. Okay, so I'm telling the birds to go back home to mom. Good grief, how'd you manage that? You must have a touch of magic about you. Don't worry, I won't tell. Anyway, I keep my word. At least when I can, this is for you. Oh, I got a, a painting. Okay, cool. Tall firewood stack and some gold. All right. Anything in here for me to steal? I mean, have. I feel like within the city itself, there wasn't a lot. Hi, how can I help you? A uh, small village been here for hundreds of years. I'm gonna, I am gonna push through this a little bit quickly, just because I do want to. Oh, an ancient graveyard deep in the forest. I'm not mine to visit such places. Okay, so it does kind of look like maybe everybody will tell me about a place essentially and there's still that guy that's missing my pasta of the witch used to devour children but he was just trying to scare me work too i never went near that hut okay i didn't head out this direction from the house i really want to steal a goat what would happen if i just picked up a goat and left with it <laughs> all right this looks to also be kind of the end of the map where am i 
Yeah, in the town. My deer did stop following me. I'm still looking for someone who's missing. That's a thing. Um, yeah, let's look at let's let's look at quests really quick. So main quest is that side quest though, missing friend. Someone in the village told me they're missing their friend. Maybe I will find him in the forest. So that's really, I think, maybe my last quest to do. Though I don't think I spoke with every single person in the village. Um, I'm kind of finding things as I'm going. Let's see. Maybe their friend just got lost. And I'll be able to track him down. Looks like the very far edges of the map don't often have a lot of stuff. Um, that looks kind of like a lake. I'm nervous to get in there. I wonder if I can swim. Oh. Maybe I can get across. All right, and now I think I'm back by her hut. That's her hut, I think. Yes. There is the bridge there. I'm just... Yeah, it looks like you're really slow, but maybe you don't actually drown or anything. Maybe they are meant to be more like swamps. So that's kind of nice. Like, I didn't feel like I was going to drown in that. All right, let's go back into the actual forest over here because I don't think I explored it as much as I wanted to. Like, I definitely didn't go like this way. And I want to find this last like main quest of this area before we move forward in the game for sure. But, but uh, we already saw a little decision making thing. I'm wondering what that's going to mean. Um, in the future of the game, what's going to happen based on the choices that I make? Will some of the choices make Baba Yaga like me more or dislike me? What are the morals of Baba Yaga? Are they going to be different than my characters? And is that okay? Or will it cause me problems? Looking to see if I notice any areas out here. Or maybe like a tent. There's more. There's the berries. Let's go back out over here. But it doesn't look like there's no honeycomb in the trees. There's no mushrooms. It doesn't look like these areas have like too much to just make you randomly explore. This does feel very much like, you know, a prologue kind of area. That's just getting the story started. Huh. Oh, this was that bridge I wanted to go over, though. Let's try that. I wanted to go over this bridge, and then I told myself no, and I went back. <laughs> there are gravestones, it looks like. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Those are just the posts from the bridge. This is like the deepest part of the woods, it looks like. So where am I at on my map? Okay, so I'm over here, which I hadn't found anything over here yet, so... I bet you there's something over here that's probably like that storyline piece for that guy. Maybe another area to explore. Because why would they build this bridge in this space and not put anything on it? Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's that's not good. Oh, that's that's really not good. Ooh. When I stepped out this morning, my heart was singing with joy at beginning my new adventure. The world's a big place, but I am a small man. Yet I yearn to be more, to see more, and understand more. What adventures await me, what sights, tastes, and smells, the anticipation is almost too much. As I'm writing, I spy fellow travelers approaching. I hope I can make camp with them tonight. Oh... That is that so he was murdered. Oh, no. Well, so what does that say for my quest now? I think the hangman might be the missing friend. Maybe I should tell her about him. Okay. 
I'm going to finish looking over here. See if I find anything else. Man, these travelers just flat out murdered that guy. That is, um, oh, another building. That was a little dark twist in the game that I didn't necessarily see coming. So finding other travelers and things might not always be our friends. I wonder if that's something for me to know now. If either will be some fight within my mag my magic at some point. See, like I said, I definitely wouldn't call this game like regular cozy for sure. Ooh, is that a chicken? Oh, it's a cat! <gasps> Oh my god, I just got a cat. Oh my god, I just got a cat. Oh my god. Like I can they can live in my house. This is by far the best one that we've found yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my wait. Are you just spending time with me? Are you like a familiar? It's a it's literally like a pet. Okay, don't 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 forget to go looking in the woods, y'all. That's all I got to say. This is a explore the world kind of game. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I feel I do feel pretty satisfied, though, I will say, about going through most of this space so far. Where's my cat? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I came out here. Let's go tell the lady about her friend, which is back here somewhere. Oh, it's the tree. Oh, no, that's the tree is where he's where he is. It's back up here somewhere, up up in the village. I just have to find the right person. I don't exactly remember if I'm being fully honest. Um. Oh, it was the woman that was standing out in front of her house. It was one of the first ones that I saw. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have a pet. I am... Oh. Hi. Wait, I've already been here. This is fine. This is okay. Yeah, this is like a different way that I've run. No, I need to go that way. Hi, dear. It's okay. We're just going to wade through this water. I can kind of look like you can kind of hop and it speeds it up just a little bit. But you do go really slow if you don't take the bridges and things, which is fair. Why is that gray? What is that? I don't know. Oh, this is the chicken house. I am going completely to the wrong place. Bring me back to the pumpkin lady. That'll get me in the right. Okay. I'm not going completely to the wrong place. Oh, can I collect? Oh, I can collect more wood. Okay, that's good. All right, good. So that's how I get wood. It's not like from hitting trees or anything, at least not at this point. I'm definitely going to need to build more to my house. Whee! Come with me, crows and cat. Oh my god, here it comes. It's like, I'll go through this water. I don't care. All right. You are pumpkin lady. I don't think I have anything more to say to you. Who is at this house? Oh, this is um Radimir. Okay. I haven't talked to you. You notice anything weird? You hear strange sounds. Sound like large squawking. No, it must just be me. Okay, I don't think you have a quest for me. Now, the one quest was kind of at the start. It was like the first house I walked up to. This guy, too, asked me something. 
strange dress you have there, but I rather like it. Okay, that's a little creepy. Keep your opinions about my physical self to yourself. Last trip, he kept a journal and even wrote to me each day. Now nothing for weeks. Would you mind keeping an eye on him? I believe he took the far path to the south. I found his body. I'm afraid. What? No, it can't be. I'm sorry. I want to. I want to be honest. I don't want to lie. Um, it sounded like that was maybe a dark thing to do, but I, why give her false hope? That doesn't make any sense. Where did you find him? Mm, I found him to this. I'm just going to tell her the truth. I appreciate your honesty, how much it hurts to hear. I will go to him and see what, that he gets a proper burial. Join me there. He would want that. Oh. Okay. You want me to join you there. What if I steal a baby goat? What would anyone say? <laughs> what if I just took this goat? Would anyone be upset? <laughs> I, I'm stealing a goat. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I am, I am making this choice for my character right now. Oh, I have to go all the way back to this tree. Okay. See, I hit it on my map. It's south. I'm not seeing the red pop up. So I would call this a little bit of a glitch because it should be south, right? I guess south this way. Okay. What, what happens if I just take this goat to my house and put it in a room? Will it just become my goat then? I feel like the consequences. Aw. Really? I've been able to jump over every other fence? How rude. I feel like the consequences. Of stealing this goat are not heavy. And that I should do it. <laughs> Please let me know if you're on operation. Have a baby goat in your house. Or if you are like Ravi, return the damn goat. I, I would like to know how you feel about the goat decision. Um, I really am going to try and steal it. I'm just going to carry it with me to this guy's. Uh, this guy's funeral. See what happens. And then I'm stealing this goat. I hope she's already here. I don't have all day. Okay, good. I brought a goat for no reason. It was lost and I'm going to bring it back. Oh, <laughs> look at how cute it is. How can I not steal it? He is at rest now. That's the least I can do. I shall miss him terribly. Here, this one's was his. He'd like it to go to a good home. Is it this goat, by chance? Perhaps in better times, I will consider continue his adventures in memory of him. Some candles. Aw, oh, painting of a landscape. That's nice. Um, thank you. All right. We are... Okay, so the chicken on my map is, my, is the house symbol. So we are going to go head back. I think I feel good about what I have done here. I could go get some more raspberries, but I feel like that's just the video game hoarder in me. And um, I, I think I want to move forward and see what happens next in the game. So I will say it doesn't appear like the map is working exactly as intended. I keep clicking to highlight. Let's try and just X. And it's not doing it. Like the red highlight. Oh, I can I can grab the berries and stuff. That's nice without having to put down my goat. I wonder what Baba Yaga will say about me stealing this baby goat. Is this going to count ag negatively against me for my morals? Or will Baba Yaga be okay with it? I also feel like there was more stuff here with these guys. I wonder if Baba Yaga is going to be like, oh, you stole a goat. Great job. I should really steal more goats. 
That would be cool. All right. Oh, do I have to wade through all this water? Uh, no, there's the bridge. Let's take the bridge. The bridges are definitely the better way to get around. Thank you, developers. I will also be curious to see how much stuff I missed. Um, if a developer happens to watch this, which I'm going to guess that they don't, but if they do, please tell me how much I missed. Like, it doesn't have to be like exact number, but be like just a couple chests or just a couple satchels or no, you missed a whole area. Like, I would love to know. Curious minds want to know. Are we just leaving behind Baba Yaga, Yaga, Baba Yaga's chickens as well? I'd really rather not leave behind the chickens. Can they come too? Can I just pick up each of the chickens? Like all this nice furniture and stuff in here. Like I'll take all this stuff from my house. Looks like you've got multiples of that chair. Is this more grain? Yeah, I'm definitely grabbing all this grain before we go. I get, I get hungry. I'm gonna want some bread. I need to do some cooking. Apparently, we also use it for rituals. Hello, chicken. All right. Baba Yaga, I need you. right now I legit just stole a goat I have no regrets my re my level of regret is zero I hope you all know this can I can I take the chickens too Hold on. oh can I hi how about you we're befriended do you want to come live with me I'm gonna guess I can't keep a deer now well hi i mean this is a little creepy but i also love it hi i love that y'all are my friends okay hold on i'm gonna go grab a chicken because if i can also i will take i will take the time to grab every single one of these chickens i <laughs> i hope you all understand the dedication that i have to having these animals oh wait did i just go the wrong way oh this is our house yeah Go through the house. What you doing, Ravi? This way. Hey, chickens. Hi. What's up? I hope you're having a great day. I, I, if I wasn't recording this and I was just doing it for myself, I hope that you all know that I would go back and steal every single one of those goats. I would steal every last baby. Every last one I could pick up, I would steal. Can I bring your chickens? <laughs> Yes! Y'all, it's on like Donkey Kong. It is on like Donkey Kong. I am going to have chickens and goats. I'm going to have a farm. An absolute farm. Going on my house. Hi, chickens. Come on, chicken. I wonder if I have to feed them and stuff. I hope it's easy. <laughs> Maybe I'm like really biting off more than I can chew. Bring the animal home. A gray chicken. We've got Baba Yaga. I'm, I'm hooking us up for this journey. We're going to have fresh eggs. We're going to have the cutest little boss you've ever done heard. I have a cat now. I don't know where my cat went, but it's here somewhere. I do kind of want to build at the, at the very least just like a frame for my house. And now I honestly want to build like an outdoor space for my chickens. Hi. What's up? Maybe I can like put like just a little bit of. Um, just like a little bit of like a um, roof like overhang over a spot, but have it be outside and put all the animals out there. And they can also live in my house. I don't care bring the animal home another gray chicken 
Baba Yaga, you said the chickens were important. You said that chickens are incredible creatures. I agree. This is how I'm going to have chickens. This is, this is, I don't get to have chickens in real life. This is how I'm going to have chickens. I, oh, I think there's like one more. Yeah. You're out in the yard. Okay. I think this is my last chicken. I'm going to grab this chicken. Come here, you. And also, oh no, that's not wheat. Anything else? Can I grab whatever this stuff is? She's growing something here. No? Hi. You can have another berry. Wonder if I get ethical Oh whoops. Ethical points for um feeding the deer. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna be a good witch or, or a bad witch. Maybe I maybe I'm gonna be somewhere in between. And an orange chicken. I am so here for all of this. All right. We're going to build mold really quick. I want to at least finish a little bit of walls. Items and stuff. I have so much stuff now. This is so exciting. Um, books. Friends! Okay. Well, the cat at the very least. Oh, my God. Hi, kitty. You're going to just... Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. This game. Okay. All right, ladders. So this is like our home furnishing stuff. So now I have I have still my walls. I also have ladders. Beams it looks like, different kinds of beams. Place this into an existing wall. That looks like a shelf. Oh, these are doors. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out the rest of my wall, I think. So is this the front? It looks like I can continue building out here. Let's go ahead and continue building out some flooring this way. Oh, cannot build here. Okay. Okay, so this is as far out as we can go. And then what I think I want to do. Is build a. Half wall. Um, out here. Um, how do I switch the wall? There we go. Oh, no. Um, I want the wall to be facing the other direction. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do it. Um, hold. Oh, there it is. Okay. So hold the button. Ooh. There we go. Place. 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 Okay. So I want to have a little half wall out here. This is going to be still my main wall. This is going to be my house. Oops. That was a mistake. That's okay. So this will be the front of my house. So now let's grab. So those are windows and these are doors. Okay. So I'm going to put my door. I think I want my door to be like all the way over here on one side. And that gives me space. Then I can place a window. That's cute. Okay. So now let's go over to friends again. And I can put my little sheep. My white, my little goat, my white goatling. Ba, indeed. Can live right there. And I can have... Homes for my chickens. As well. And now I'm curious to see how I interact with them. So, there's my little goats and chickens. Let's go back... 
I love that this is what has become the most important part of my playthrough right now, y'all. Um, so this is like a little roof. So we're going to... Maybe I need the big roof. And let's... Oh, it's really sensitive. Build like that. And like that. And like that. I want there to be... Um, in? Mm, I don't know if I like that. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Interesting. So is this where, like, the beams come in? I'm not entirely... Oh, okay, those are, like, cross beams. Oh, okay, cute. But I don't see, like, a flat spot for above the top. I guess that'll happen once I finish building out the rest of this stuff. I don't know. This is where... This is where the learning... The learning comes in. But at least it's offering some shade to them. The idea is to put a small roof on this part where all of my chickens and animals will be. And then the big group, big roof up above. So let's go back into build mode really quick. I'm going to do. Um, some additional building out. Pretty much to right in front of the door and also. You know what? I'll leave that big of a space. And this is like my entrance right now into my space. My door. To enter into my house. All right. So now what can I do with them? I can carry them. But do they do anything for me? Do I feed them or do I just collect them like Pokemon? If I'm just collecting them like Pokemon and it's some sort of Baba Yaga magic that Baba Yaga just magically takes care of all the animals that I collect, I will steal everything. I will have so many animals in this house that Baba Yaga will be confused. I don't even care. I am so ready for it. All right. I do want to store that okay let's go ahead and continue out our wall here and you really can kind of build whatever shape you like it seems like if i want this to cut in here i can i mean why not it looks kind of nice ah I will say that's a little bit, it's a little finicky, like with how you move your, it's like barely move and there it is. But I can also add additional doors to make additional rooms. I can add stairs and that's all pretty cool. I think for now, oh, okay. That took that away. Interesting. I love hearing the cat meow. Some people might be annoyed by all the animal sounds. Not this chick. Hey, Baba Yaga. Don't mind me. I haven't fully built our house yet, but I'm trying to make it so at least we won't go flying off from it. I think this is one of those games where... What people build is going to be really incredible and really fun to see. Like, people are going to build whole cool <laughs> spots to run there, to sit in their chairs, which I might put mine out front. Like, I'm looking out over the countryside while I'm controlling my chicken, my, my chicken house. Um, but I think there's going to be so many cool ways and things that you can build in here. I'm probably going to, like, build Baba Yaga a, like, house up in the attic and leave the rest of the house kind of open for me. <laughs> I also like the whole food concept. Oh, I can interact. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, so are you like a pet so I can interact with you and you can actually come out and wander around with me? I'll bet you that's what that means. Where my other ones, I can only carry them, but you're an actual pet. All right, let's talk to Baba Yaga. I have more questions. What do you want to know about? Um, Where will we be traveling to? We will travel east against the flow of the river. Know that the river is a greater teacher than even I. The waters are life and memory. It contains all things that ever were and ever will be. Why did the new chicken not respond to you? I have to admit, part of me hoped we could revive my old friend, but too much has been lost. Since it was your blood that we used, it might only listen to you for now. It's a little ominous. Who are you anyway? I see my reputation is not what it used to be. Once I was spoken of in fearful whispers and screams and shivers, I traveled through nightmares and shadows. I have been known by many names, although I can't say I have cared for any of them. You may call me Baba Yaga. Mm, you have a questioning mind, but for now there's work to be done. Have you explored the lands already? If so, we should be on our way. All right, that's all I wanted to know. All right. I guess I feel good. Hut hut, stand up. Muffled clucking. Whoa. Oops. Go where I say. <gasps> I actually get to move it? You can leave this place and travel to the next location. Interact with the skeleton chair and walk your house into the fog at any point um, at the edge of the map. Okay, well, she said east. Whoa. And this is where you really get to see, like, the house that you've built, which is cool. So mine's obviously not very exciting yet. But it will be. Wow. This is crazy. That is so cool. Wow. Or I could stay here. I could like totally stay here and just work on building my house and stuff until I used up all the resources as well. But we're going to travel onward because I want to see what happens when you head to the next section. The next trial awaits here. You are about to leave the current map. You will keep your base in progress and you will find new items, quests, and interesting places at your destination. You will not be able to return to your current location. It's kind of cool, though. It looks like there's going to be story as we go along and you can take as much time as you want, build your house as much as you want, work on it as much as you want, find as many things as you want. If you're more into, like, the lore and the magic and the story, you can focus on that. If you're into, like, all the decorating stuff and finding all the things, then you can do all of that instead. I, I like the options that you're having. So if you're like, I don't care about decorating as much. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here for storyline and witchcraft and all of that. You could move forward and focus more on that. Build a humble home. Bread has a warm, comforting flavor with a slightly yeasty and nutty taste. The combination of textures from a satisfying crunchy crust and soft, airy texture makes a freshly baked bread irresistible. Don't I know it. You can't see it, but I patted my belly. It plays a vital role in various ceremonies and celebrations and is central in rituals of hospitality. Trial of the Forest Spirit. I have not been to this place for many moons, but it will do well for your continued training. To expand our house, you'll need wood. For that, trees must be felled. Ha! You think this sounds easy, don't you? But don't go chopping anything down just yet. A forest spirit resides in, this woods, in these woods. He and I have... An understanding, but he has no such thing with you. You'll need to earn his trust in time. For now, just try to pique his interest. Your first lesson will take the form of a task. Earn the respect of the forest spirit by doing him three favors. Why three? No one knows for sure, but three is considered a magical number, so it should please him. Find out what he needs, ask the people of this land. They know best. It might serve you well to visit the Lutki again. There is much more to find out about those little wood blocks. They even have their own wisdom of a kind. All right, I've been told about a location. Find it with your compass. Okay. What can you tell me about this place? 
Here, the realms of humankind and nature engage in an uneasy coexistence. Humans often forget that they are merely guests in this world. They were born from the earth, and in their deaths, it is the earth to which they return. But do not think that nature is benign and gentle, nor that it can protect itself. There are those within the realm of nature who can be as cruel and selfish as any human, and they have experience on their side. I have more questions about my task. What do you want to know? Um, okay, so she can give you tips and things. It won't appear to just anyone. You have to prove yourself to him first. But I have no doubt he'll be making his present known in one way or another. I suspect there are those in the village of, of Barzlin who have dealt with him more recently than I have and may share their tales. Okay, so that's cool. So I can ask for tips and ask for more help. Or I can treat the game truly as I would like to, to treat it. And make it a little bit more organic. And have the freedom to run around how I want. Oh, I can't sit down here because there's something in the way. All right, I need to find a spot to sit. But I think right here is probably the place. And there we go. Alrighty, well. Can I interact with my cat? So far, I also don't seem to really need, like, um, an inventory manager. And can I just say, for the most part, inventory management in games is just frustrating to me. I'm starting to like the idea of like you just carry everything with you at all time and you can access it at all time it's magic congratulations like if you can if you can logic it away storyline wise that it makes sense that your character could have unlimited pockets and in this case or like you know the the, the bags of holding exist in this game um if there's a way of of doing that i appreciate it a lot <laughs> all right so oh no i didn't want to talk to baba yaga Get moving. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to interact with the cat. I shouldn't have put it so close to you. It's fine. I was trying to get the cat to go with me. I'm wondering what the cooking is for. So far, I don't seem to have any reliancy, like, on, on food or needing it for anything. I'm guessing I'm going to need it for things eventually. Oh, and I can open the window. That's nice. Um, that I'm going to need it eventually for different things. But as of right now, I don't actually need it for anything. Um, I don't need it for stamina. I don't need it for food. I do seem to need my branches in order to do magic. So when I see them, I'm going to need to grab them. But it does kind of seem that as soon as one like kind of burns out, the game like tells me where there's another one to find. We have another broken down place. Oop, I see. Ooh. Whoa. Look at all the moths. I received an insect display. Oh, that's cool. Wow. I wanted to just peek here really quick and see. So if we open up our new map, click on any icon um, to highlight the location you first want to go to. So um, I just found this moth place. There is my... Ch okay, so here's my chicken house. Now it's telling me it looks like an actual chicken. That looks like it must be town symbols. And then this is where those creatures are. And then it tells me what my main quest is. Expand my house. I still have tasks to do before I can do that. And then obviously my side quests. But I have moved on from that first area, like it said. I don't see quests or anything from there anymore. Um, but I have all new places to explore. Ooh. There was a chest there. A witch paper open book with flowers. All right. All right, well, y'all, as I thought that I would, I want to keep playing this game, but I'm going to do the responsible thing, <laughs> and we are going to go ahead and save for now and save some more of this for stream uh, on Friday. I am even more impressed with it than I thought that I would be. The graphics are beautiful. I love the freedom that the game allows for. I love exploring and trying to find the extra things for decorating my house. I like the little side quest. I am thrilled that I could steal the goat and the chickens. <laughs> thrilled that that is an option. Um, I love that there's consequences based on decisions and things that I do in the game. But at the same time, nothing feels too heavy. Nothing feels like I am required to complete everything for moving forward or progressing forward as as my story, as who I am as Rekka. Um, I 
as far as bugs go um only a few things maybe with the map and whatnot um uh, the the deer jumping was a funny little glitch but not even something that i would be super worried about um so far it plays beautifully it looks beautiful i the character models are really beautiful and unique i i can't pinpoint another game that i've ever played that felt exactly like this one and i think that's what makes it so special so i would love to know what you think about what we saw today in Rekka down below in the comments i am truly so excited to play more of this game which i'm going to do on twitch friday uh starting at 5 p.m twitch.tv forward slash ravinia um because this is absolutely stunningly beautiful i'm so excited to spend some more time like just zoning out and designing more in my house as well i think that the the options for for decorating and the style of doing it is really really interesting so i'm i'm really excited to see as the game progresses how much more can i do as i earn more and more abilities and things so honestly i really there's very few things that i could even say about improving it at this point and i i am so impressed this has the makings of a game of the year all right i love you bye